Hello and welcome to KMTV, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Friday, November the 14th. Operation Stack's been put in place on the M20 because industrial action in Calais is causing disruption to cross-channel ferry services. Lorries are being parked up in the coastbound carriageway between junctions 8 and 9. That's Leeds Castle and Ashford. Any non-freight traffic will use the A20 instead. It's the first time it's been used for over six months. With less than a week to go until the by-election in Rochester and Stroud, the main parties have continued to send out their senior members. Yesterday, Labour's Sadiq Khan visited the Afghan Community Centre in Rochester with local candidate Naushaba Khan. Some of the language used by some of our opponents, what it does is firstly it's a proxy for other issues. People have concerns, people have concerns about their job and the standard of living and the NHS and the local hospital and getting an appointment with the GP and getting housing for their kids. And the impression is given that the, the fault of all that is immigration. And the way you solve it is by drawing up the drawbridges and blaming the uh, immigrants. And my concern is some of the great work that's taken place in communities is being compromised and put at risk. In other news, teenagers across Kent have been shown a hard-hitting film to persuade them to drive safely. 6,000 16 to 18-year-olds have been shown the video to highlight the consequences of a crash. There are calls for better checks at the port of Dover and Eurotunnel terminal to reduce the number of puppies being trafficked into the UK illegally. Undercover footage from the Dogs Trust shows dogs having fake passports and false rabies vaccination records. And Eurostar is celebrating its 20th anniversary today by launching a series of new trains that will travel through Kent at up to 200 miles an hour. And finally, a new festive bus tour is starting this weekend, giving people the chance to follow in Dickens' footsteps. Jim Collins has more. Your heart and your liver shall be torn out, roasted and ate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Charles Dickens! <laughs> you might have died more than 140 years ago, but that certainly hasn't stopped Charles Dickens from launching his own bus tour in Medway this Christmas. Hot on the heels of Brian Blessed's open-top summer tours, the Dickens Country Experience aims to bring the literary heavyweight to life with a healthy pinch of humour. You know, if you're not careful, you could just be pointing at blue plaques all day. But we like to think that we've added some fun to it. I think it's nice to, to be able to sort of demystify it as well and make it kind of living history. A specially designed bus will run twice daily every weekend, stopping in a number of Dickensian hotspots, such as Gads Hill, where the author lived and died, and even find time for a spot of gin punch at one of his favourite watering holes, the Leather Bottle Inn. With a TV cast hailing from the likes of EastEnders, Coronation Street and Inspector Morse, there are already some great expectations. But it's already won some great praise, namely from the great-great-granddaughter of the man himself. Well, I don't think there's any, been anything quite like this, where you can gather on a splendidly decorated bus and be taken off on a bit of an adventure. I really enjoyed it. I liked the mixture of the entertainment on the coach and, and, and some sort of fun readings, but the banter and the humour. However, if you're looking to get in on the action, you'll have to act fast, as tours will only be running until December 21st. Gem Collins in Rochester... KMTV. There's more local news on KMFM and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. But that's it from KMTV.